Number one, you have a mother dharma, dharma of the mother, to take care of the child. But you have no control over the child's karma. Because the child chose you, not you chose the child. You never knew that this man is coming to be, uh, coming, this man is going to be taking birth as your child. So, that particular soul chose you to manifest into this world through your family because of whatever reason, doesn't matter what reason. But the reality is that your mother dharma is in full flow until the child is of ego age. Ego age means when he can take his own decisions. The, until then you are responsible, totally. After that also, there is responsibility. But again, when a man or when a, when a boy is on a, on a level of ego, ego plane, when I say ego, don't think it as egocentric. It ego plane in the sense that he is manifesting his own identity. That is what I call ego. He is manifesting his own identities and he is independent. Mm -hmm. That time you are only his friend. Or something like this is good, this is not good. He may take your advice or may not take your advice. This is one. Second aspect. So the first aspect is dharma and karma. You understood that. Second aspect is uh, my child means there is an ownership. Ownership is equal to pain. It is not my child if this child happened to you. So you, you have provided in the right time the right food, the right bed, the right medicine, all these things so that he can be a man. He can be. You nurtured the child to become an able person. That is what you should have done and you have done, right? So there ends it. Now, uh, after some time, your, the motherhood should expand to the whole world and say that all are my children. So when you nurture the motherhood in you, pain is less because you shifted from a singular motherhood to a universal motherhood. This is exactly what Baba tells. Serve all. When he says serve all, that means all are your children. Not even human beings, birds, animals, trees, plants, all, everything are your children. So when you shift to that mode, pain is less, ownership is less, because you have ownership on the whole thing, because everything is you. This is truth also. In, after a certain age, means when the child is on their own, until then you have to definitely look up. That is Pidr Dharma, Madhar Dharma. And then after that stage, the children should look after the parents. That is the Putra Dharma. They should take care of the parents. So there are stories of a son carrying the father and mother on the shoulder. In, you know. So these are all uh, definitely recommended and re definitely useful because that liberates you. When you are totally performing the duty of a mother and a father and a child, it liberates you. That means you are paying the debt for using the womb or, or experiencing the motherhood and everything. But at a certain point in time, that should shift to a universal motherhood. That leads to vanaprastha, detachment. Okay, my children and these children are same. You know, for, for the world, I am a mother. So your mother, motherhood manifests in 100% in full capacity. And, and that mode, everybody are your children. So your equanimity raises and your anxiety goes down. Now, if you, there are some people who do not have children. What do they do? Right from the beginning, they are mother. All the women are mothers. Womanhood is equal to motherhood. No man can ever satisfy any woman. Child can. Only a child can. So the moment you become a mother to the world, you are fulfilled. You are complete. There starts the liberation. You know, and then it grows and grows and grows. And it reaches a level where you are completely merged with the universe. So it is an easier path for enlightenment. For liberation. You know what I mean? So, if you understand all these aspects, the ownership is not there, satisfaction is much more, you are being valuable to the world. And mother does not mean that you can't be a mother to somebody elder to you or younger to you. Anybody can be your child. It can be a, a donkey or a cow or a, or, a, or, a, or a bird or a person. You know, it, it can be anything. So, you are naturally being a mother. That's when the whole completion happens in life. Meanwhile, if they need help, definitely you give help. I'm not saying you shouldn't. But then ownership 
and I am responsible until he dies or until I die. That is not true. Because you, are, you, you can't interfere in another person's karma. They chose the karma. They came through you. But you, you as, a, as a kind person, you suggest or you give whatever is the best for them. All the time. If you can say, hey look here, this is good for you. Try it. But you can't insist on it. The moment you insist, you are interfering in the karma. But you can suggest. Like that we can go on. If you look at too many old age homes today, <coughs> various capacities, that is because the parents bother the children. Too much. You know, they are, they are on the back, so they get fed up of them. Children after a certain time need freedom. You know, they want, they want freedom, they want expression. That time even the parents are controlling them, then they put them in old age home as soon as they can.